Hey everyone, my name is Eric Day, and today we're going to be looking at this gaming chair right here by a company called Best Office. My wife got this for me as an anniversary present, and I couldn't be more excited to try it out because I've been using a metal folding chair for the past three years. Obviously, this is going to be much better than what I've been using in the past, but I don't have any other previous reference since this is the first gaming chair that I've ever sat in, let alone owned. When I was looking for a chair, I knew I wanted something modern, uh, but nothing over the top, something budget oriented, and most importantly, above all else, it had to be comfortable. That last option is going to be a little hit or miss because I'm trying to choose a chair that I've never sat in. But then again, anything that I get is going to be better than that tin can of a chair that I currently own. After browsing online, I came across the brand Best Office and their gaming chair. I use quotations because if you look at the name, the company doesn't even know what to call it. But if you look at the design, it has that race car seat influence, so I would assume that they were leaning more towards gamers, even though it says that it can be used for office work. Though I don't think you'd see a chair like that in a traditional office space. Now if we look at the description, it says that the chair is built for comfort, has an ergonomic design, and is easily assembled, and has a 90 day satisfaction guarantee. It also says that it's BIFMA certified, but I'm pretty sure they meant BIFMA certified, which is a safety and durability certification for furniture. So it hits all the marks. It's modern, comfortable, has a 90 day money back guarantee, and it's only 70 bucks. Sold. The package arrived pretty quickly and came in your standard brown box, um, but I would be careful though. One of the silica gel packs popped open on the inside of the package and it'd take out all the little pieces out of the mesh like I was popping a pimple. The parts are fairly standard with a mix of metal and plastic parts and came with everything that I need to assemble it. So without further ado, let's get building. done building it, I can easily say that they stayed true to their claim that it was very easy to assemble. I was able to build it in about 10 minutes without any issues. The chair uses a mix of polyurethane and mesh fabric and the stitching looks tight and clean without any kind of fraying. The padding itself gives a great amount of play but not too much to where you feel like you're sinking into a huge pillow. The chair can also lean back quite a bit but not all the way flat and doesn't lock into position. None of the stationary parts moved or creaked and there was little to no rattling when I was moving the chair around. The wheels on the other hand are okay. Uh, they're not as smooth as I'd like them to be, but at least I can get around now. The armrests are not adjustable at all and the padding is fairly thin. It's okay for now, but I'm curious about how long they're gonna hold up long term. Now this doesn't come with a lumbar or head pillow, just like a lot of the other gaming chairs out there, but that's because it's not tall enough to even use a head pillow. Though that may change at some point, but I mean, for 70 bucks, you're not gonna be getting the world's best gaming chair here. So I've been using it for a couple days now, and so far I love it. It fits all of my knees and has lots of upsides with very few compromises. So if you are in the market for a new gaming chair, but you are on a budget, you can go ahead and grab one of these in the Amazon affiliate link down below. Now this is what I was able to find on a really good budget. If there are any other budget friendly chairs out there that I may have missed, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check out our merch store Every purchase that you make goes directly back into the channel. So if you want to see the channel grow and improve, maybe think about getting a t-shirt. But that's going to be it for me, guys. If you liked what you saw, please give it a thumbs up. If not, go ahead and give me a thumbs down. Either way, it lets me know what kind of content you love and what you don't. So have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next one.